Hello. What I'm going to do in this video is demonstrate how to use text replacement to display an integer or float, display a number within a message. And for purposes of this tutorial, the precise mechanism of displaying the message, I won't go into in much detail. I'm just going to use um, a very basic function to display it and assume you have some idea of when you want the message to be shown in the mod. Um, the same with setting the integers. The purpose of this tutorial is just to demonstrate the syntax which is used to take the integers that you have and place them in the message. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a message. Now I've already created a message. Um, as you can see here it's called tutorial message but I haven't filled anything in yet. So I'm now going to fill in um, the syntax of what the message should look like. So I'm just going to write something like your numbers are and I'm going to pull out three numbers. So number one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in the syntax that you'll need. So you'll stick a percentage sign before it. And then I'm going to put a dot here. Then a zero. Then F. Percentage dot zero F. So what this is telling it is it's telling it that we're going to do this number. Then anything after the dot is the number of decimal points to display it to. And then we finish it off with the F. Essentially. So what this will display is this will simply display a whole integer. So if I now write number two, and maybe I want to show it's two decimal points, maybe it's going to be a float, I'm going to put percentage sign, and I'm going to put dot two f. And then number three, let's say I want it to indicate whether or not the number is positive or negative, that is going to need to come before the indicator of position. So if I do a percentage sign plus, and even if it's negative, we've got to put this plus in, which is a little bit confusing, but that is what we need to do, dot 0f, because let's say we want to indicate that it's a positive number. So those are my three examples. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to go now to a quest, because the best way to demonstrate this is via a quest. And again, I've already made like a shell quest but I haven't done anything with it yet. It's called tutorial underscore, no, it's not called tutorial underscore per message. It's called tutorial underscore message quest. And there's already a script here, but you would have to right click, add script, new script, okay, and create a script if you don't already have one in mind. So I'm gonna edit the source and I'm gonna manually add all my different integers. So message property, um, it was called tutorial underscore message, use the auto flag and the constant flag. And then I'm going to create my integers, so I'm going to go int, property, and again these can be called anything you want. Um, I'm just going to call them number 01, and I'm going to do auto const, you could do auto conditional, that's probably more likely if you're wanting to use text replacement, because I'm assuming your integers are going to be dynamic, but it, for the purposes of this tutorial it doesn't matter. Int, property, in fact, no, because we made this one, this one's going to display decimal points. So let's make this one a float. Property number 02, auto conditional. And then another property, int property number 03, auto. Oh, I've completely lost a conditional. Just going to save that. Yep, no typos. So now. Again, I'm going to be assuming that you already have something in mind for how you want your message to display, but I'm going to create a very basic function. So I'm going to do function um, show message. And then I'm going to display my message. So to display it with integers, you do it like um, like you would do for any messages. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the property that points to your message, which in my case is tutorial underscore message, and I'm going to write dot show. But whereas if we weren't doing text replacement, we could just end it there. We're now actually going to pass it some arguments. So if we never, never get back down to messages, you can see what I'm doing here. So there are three, one, two, three empty arguments, and I'm going to pass it one, two, three numbers. So the number in the position in which these text replacement flags appear is the position in which we're going to want to hand the arguments. So this one here is going to be the first, whatever I put in first, because that appears first in the message. Just all you have to do is write number 01, number 02, number 03, close the bracket, end function. So now the first argument that I'm passing it is going to occupy the first space, 
second argument I'm passing is going to occupy the second space. The third argument I'm passing is going to occupy the third space. Save. So now I'm just going to quickly define these properties. You could have defined the numbers within the script, but I'm just going to define them this way. I'm just going to auto fill because I gave this property the same name as the message. So hitting auto fill just enables it to auto fill straight away. But you could have named this anything and selected it from the drop down list. So for the first number, I'm just going to call it, say, 10. First number, I'm going to do 1.59. And that should show up ideally with just the two numbers following the decimal point. And this one, we're going to go for 96. And that will show up with a plus sign in front of it because it is a positive number. I could make that a negative number, negative 96. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make a positive number. Does it make a difference? Okay, yeah, okay. So now as we can see, what's going to happen is when this function is called, and I think I do have a tutorial on functions that goes into a little bit more detail, if I remember right, it's just going to show this message handing over number one, number two, and number three, the arguments that we've created there. And we're going to OK out of everything. And now I'm going to jump into the game and show you about working. All right, so we are here in the game in my relatively new save, and I'm going to demonstrate what I've just done working. So I'm just going to call the function via the console, but like I say, you may have a particular way of calling a function in your mod. So I'm going to use call quest function tutorial underscore message quest. I remember the name of my function was, I think, show message. There we go. This is pretty much what I said was going to happen, I think. Number one was 10. Number two was 1.59, and it's being displayed with two decimal places because I gave, I, um, the precision setting that appears after the decimal point was set to two. And number three has got plus 96 because the flag that I put had a plus sign. There are lots of different ways you can do it. There is actually um, a page on the Creation Kit Wiki that gives you some of the other examples of the syntax, but that's pretty much all you need to know for the basics of handing uh, integers over to a message. So yeah, hopefully that was clear um, and useful. Thank you for watching and goodbye.